We live in a vast world, and it seems like no matter how far a man explores, there's always going to be some nooks and crannies that are left untouched. One thing's for certain, though. All of those uncharted rains are bound to accumulate some dirt. Enter Leon Dusty Jackson, whose life goal is to get rid of some of that grime. So uh, basically, I was uh, watching the old boob tube, you know, when uh, I looked on the ground and noticed uh, there were a lot of dirt on there. I mean, a lot. It was real, real grimy, nasty. And, uh, you know, so I figured out to get a guy come in and uh, clean that all up. So I mosey on down to the phone book, you know, and uh, much to my chagrin, uh, not a cleaning guy in town. So, you know, you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. So uh, I get to working on that dirt. I mean, putting in the elbow grease just grinding and grinding and uh it's taken me forever i would have been there all day honestly when all of a sudden uh bing 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 light bulb idea two mops could do twice the work in half the time and what do you know it uh i got it done pretty quick so i guess you could say that's the start of it all you can look at cleaning trends throughout american history and find you know ups and downs all over but nothing is quite so big of an historical footnote as DDM, or double down mopping. Uh, essentially, if you imagine this as kind of the uh, status quo of uh, cleaning before DDM hit the scene, uh, essentially what happened is a. Uh I've been a uh, keyboardist since I was uh, very young. You know, I was playing Bach, Rachmaninoff since I was a kid. So, uh, you know, doing one thing with the left, one thing with the right. It, comes naturally to me, whether it's, uh, you know, Mozart or a mop. Mopsart. <sighs> yeah, I remember things were awful different before Dusty's, uh, technique hit the scene. I myself got started with cleaning back in, uh, well, shoot. It must have been the early 1960s. And you know what, let me tell you something. Back then, it was a real job. There were no automated computer systems and what have you. Back then, it was a guy and a mop. Of course, until Dusty came along, and then it was a guy and two mops, but I digress. Uh, those were very fast-paced times. Change was happening very rapidly, and those who could keep up and adapt, like myself, uh, did. But uh, those who were not so lucky uh, fell off by the wayside. A lot of layoffs. Whole industry was upset. It was very sad to see. That's business, I suppose. Many a mouth went hungry on the wrong end of them two mop handles. But some people rode them things to the very top. Yeah, the, uh, the fame was, uh, it was fun for a while, but, uh, you know, I'm a simple guy at the end of the day. I like my folders in the morning, my fox at five. And uh, my mopping in between, you know. They had me on uh, cereal boxes, mop packaging, all kinds of stuff. Kids were action figures. That's right, a me, little old me. But uh, I, I met President Ford at one point. You know, went up and shook his hand. Uh, there was going to be a photo shoot at the White House, but there was some something went through. And at the end of the day, I didn't care. I'm a simple guy, you know. I'm not looking to make make my mark on the world. I'm just glad everybody got to uh, enjoy what I got to say and show and map. So what's next for Leon Jackson? Well, to be honest with you, uh, roller skates. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, well, I got to thinking, you know, this hand's doing something, this hand's doing something, but, you know, I'm not an octopus, but I got two more limbs doing nothing, just padding on the floor. So I went to Sonic, right? guy brings me my corn dog. he's wearing roller skates, shoes with wheels on him, and I figure, you know, if I'm walking, cleaning with two hands, how fast could I be going if I'm rolling, cleaning with two hands, you know? It, will it be as revolutionary as my first big idea? Maybe not, but I'm not looking to make a splash, unless it's in the mop bucket, you know? That's what I'm about, uh, yeah.